Good evening, I'm Dave Leno. Investigators have ruled the fire at the Little Nashville Opry Concert Hall in Brown County was arson. Local and state investigators requested help from the Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives National Response Team last week. The fire started around the stage of the music hall, but investigators are not prepared to say what proof they found. The fire caused $3 million damage and destroyed the facility. The owner of the building, Esther Hamilton, and about 80 others have been questioned about the fire. The Brown County Treasurer confirms Hamilton owes $72,000 in back taxes. Police say investigations into previous fires at properties owned by Little Nashville Enterprises will not be reopened. Investigators want to talk to anyone who may have seen anything suspicious or unusual at the Little Opry between 10 and 10.30 p.m. on September 19th. In IU's 36-33 loss to Michigan on Saturday, the Hoosiers dominated in total yards, time of possession, and controlled the bulk of the game. Photographer Daniel Rorig and I made the trip up north to file this story from Ann Arbor. In the end, it didn't matter that IU's play calling made Michigan's defense look flustered, sometimes clueless throughout the game. Seven lead changes and three ties later, Michigan's Taint Forcier threw a game-winning touchdown with just under three minutes remaining. IU defensive end Jamie Curlew doesn't believe in moral victories, but he insists his team made a statement on Saturday. It's what everyone perceives, but I think we definitely did make a statement. Um, like uh, the gentleman was saying over here, no one expected us to have a chance, no one expected to be close. And I think, you know, Michigan uh, going away, you know, from a lot of guys on the field, they said we were the toughest defense they played all year. The defense was so good that IU limited the Wolverines to just 372 total offensive yards. Down three, the defense granted Ben Chappell's offense an opportunity to score in the waning moments. However, what appeared to be a simultaneous catch was ruled a Michigan interception, ultimately ruining IU's quest for an upset. I think some people back home will be so happy and surprised, but uh, inside the locker room, the 70 guys, we, we knew we should have won this game, and I really think that uh, we got to just take our mistakes and get ready for Ohio State because it's going to be a big one next weekend in Bloomington. Let's take a look at your weather forecast tonight. Mostly cloudy with wind gusts reaching 35 miles per hour, lows in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the upper 50s. For WTIU News, I'm Dave Leno.